Hello my lovelies, welcome to Vita 2017, hashtag third days of hairstyles, day 24, the disc bun. When I first put this tutorial up, it was the nameless one stick bun because I knew I had seen it, but I couldn't remember what it was called. So uh, it then also says, aka the disc bun, because somebody told me it was the disc bun. <laughs> I was like, ha! It was one of those things that I had followed along with somebody who had put up a tutorial on the disc bun, figured it out, wore it a bit, and then was like, oh, I should let the girls know about this one, and then I couldn't remember where I learned it from, and since I couldn't remember the name of it, I couldn't tell you. Uh, so anyway, let's make that. So what we're also going to talk about today, um, Ashley asked uh, if I had like a master list of where I get my hair stuff which I don't, <laughs> but um, like I've done things on, I have a video on uh, the different, the various hair apparatus and uh, how to use all that stuff. I did a video on that. I have done, I did a video where I showed you all of my hair toys, which was actually, should have been like the 29th Vita from 2015. Uh, I showed you all of the hair toys that I could find in my house. Well, most of them. I don't know that you'll ever, ever get to see all of them because I don't know that I can find all of them. Quite frankly, they're a bit scattered, like my brain. So, so uh, yeah. Um, so let's put this bun up and then I will show you a few of my hair toys and let you know where you can find things. Let's hope that I can do this without having to stop and go consult my own tutorial again. Okay, pony. I'm gonna split this in two. This one is one of those that seems a little complicated, like a like a like a pain in the tuchus to get done. And I have hair that is loving itself at the bottom. Sorry, there we go. Um, but once you get it down, it's it's not difficult. Um, the right hand strand we want to wrap around these fingers, right? And you see I'm gonna stretch my hand out a little bit just because the bulk of my bun is gonna require that. Try not to get these all confused. And then I, I'm going to wrap this section all the way around and just try to keep any lingering pieces from this side. Uh, by the way, this is actually a decent one to do near wash day because um, your hair will be a little oilier and want to grip itself. Okay, the other side, we have this thumb. I pull mine way out like so, and then we're gonna wrap in the other direction. Um, this is a lot of wrapping. Wrapped buns are nice though because they usually only require a stick to hold them. Um, which is nice if, if you know, you're someplace where all you have is a stick or a pencil or something and you need to get your hair up and is where the Nautilus will sometimes, now I'm going to take this and pull it. I'm actually going to untwist it a little bit and go all the way down. By all means, leave that twisted. I'm using a chopstick today. This is actually an antique. Oh, my mom found these, but it's long and that's why I want to use it. So you've got your loop, uh, yeah, but like your Nautilus, we're gonna go through this. I'm also going to untwist it, pull it over here, and then I'm going to pull hard to make sure, I have one hair wrapped around my finger, that this stick goes through this loop on this side. There we go, now it's up. Now, when you first put this bun in, it's gonna feel tight. It does, it feels tight. Give it five minutes and then see. Uh, because when I tell you that this bun, the Nautilus will shift, like if you use a fork, it'll usually stay put, no problem. But even on my hair, it'll shift during the day. If I use a stick, this does not. It's like the Vortex, it doesn't move. Now, the, unlike the Vortex, this does stick out quite a bit. Where's my mirror? Um, let me just check, make sure. Yeah, like it sticks out far. It does. But um, I would also say it's not the, the most beautiful 
bun you will you will ever encounter but it's really good for getting your hair up it does not move and already I can't feel it anymore it's gone like that initial tightness gone now I can't feel it and it doesn't hurt so that's why this bun is awesome so we did that I didn't even have to look it up now let's talk about hair toys so like like I said this is a, a set here's the other one just so it'll be pretty today it does not need so my hands are escaping doesn't matter uh, it does not need a second bun but I'm just gonna run one through actually I'm gonna run it through over so it's not against my scalp so I can't feel it uh, which will be nice if I can get it through it is really twisted in there yeah I'm gonna put two sticks in just because I like the looks of two sticks uh, rather than one but you do not need the second stick to hold anything so these sticks for example these are chopsticks now these are antique chopsticks that my mother found in an estate sale so a lot of my stuff I find like that I'm constantly looking for things I can shove into my hair my mom found these but you can buy chopsticks for example these are chopsticks I can actually hold chopsticks properly but um, yeah these are they're pretty these are chopsticks they came in a pack of eight and that's why so there's eight hair sticks and that way if you lose one you still have more little match um, you can use them as chopsticks of course or you can just put them in your hair so yay uh, chopsticks I've also told you that you can do I have any that I've done uh, when you guys get uh, Chinese Japanese you Thai, whatever comes with chopsticks. I know Chinese food comes with chopsticks. They send you the plain ones. That's all this is. I just painted it with nail polish on the end. I've shown you how to do these too. Um, you just want to sand them and finish them. That's all. Keep them oiled. Da, da, da. That is a break. That is a cheapo free chopstick. So there's your sticks. Now. If you want fancy sticks, uh, there are lots of places online you can get them. Um, I either get mine, you can get them on Etsy, eBay, Amazon, all these places. But I'm going to tell you where I got some of mine. So in my hair toys section, uh, first up is Serious Hair Toys on Etsy. It's Serious, like S-I-R-I-U-S, Serious. That's, uh, that's Tatiana. Tatiana carves things. So this is one of Tati's sticks. It's a violet, and it's pretty painted. It's a stick. This will actually hold a nautilus because the way she's made it, I can shove it all the way into this leaf. So this holds a nautilus for me. Um, I also use it a lot in my half ups because it's a shorter stick, but it will hold a nautilus. So this is great. Um, yeah, this is a stick. And then for my birthday slash anniversary a few years ago, I asked her if she could carve Murphy. And she did. That's Murphy. She even painted his little blaze all crooked like it really is on his face. This is a Murphy expression. Like this is Murphy. And if you look on the back, there's a little, there's a little wiggly tail just because Tati adds little things like that. But that's my Smurphy. I will have Smurphy forever. This is a long fork for me because I wanted to be able to hold a bun like this. My long vertical buns um, so Murphy can stick out over the top because I'm a dork like that. So that is why this is carved in this fashion, because that's what I wanted it for, because that's what Tatiana does. Uh, she does custom work. Um, I believe she wanted to give this to me for free, but I wouldn't allow her because this is a lot of work. I think this was $80 at that time for custom work. I'm not sure what she's charging now, but something similar, and it's worth it because nobody has one, just me. Alrighty. Uh, my other forks, and I cannot find my Poe fork. You guys have seen that one. It's a three-pronged, and it has Edgar Allan Poe in it. Um, it's my favorite wooden hair fork uh, for wearing every single day. And I don't, it's probably on my nightstand or somewhere, but I just, anyways. That came from Willow the Wisp, my friend Kiyoma. Uh, I also have two more though, so you can at least see what she does. So I have this gigantimous one that's as big as my head. This one is really, really good for side buns, and I like it because it looks like a Spanish lady, which I have a romanticized version of in my head. But uh, yeah, I do like a side bun and then put this in, and then it'll fill out the rest of my head so it doesn't look lopsided, yada, yada. 
beautiful. She paints too. And then this one, which is another great one to hold up a Nautilus because it's super curved. Whoop. Tulip, right? But you see, this is giant. But this absolutely fits the back of my head. <laughs> so I will do that. Like that probably would have held this bun today because it's got enough curve. But yeah. So this comes from Will of the Wisp on Etsy. Um, currently, she has one stick in there, but that's a shop that you favorite and check back because when she starts carving, she'll carve like 10 things at once and then they all go up and then you just buy them. Um, so there you go. You got those. Uh, my glass jellyfish uh, is Chris Chrysanti glass. Um, he is a shorter one. Uh, about, about the, yeah, about the same length as my serious stick. Um, although she will make these whatever length you really need. But, um, yeah, and that's the one that has jellyfish. Jellyfish. And it, Pyrex glass, uh, when I bought this, it was only $20. I think they're $40 now. Sorry, guys. Um, other ones, uh, oh, these came from Long Locks. Somebody had asked me, Long Locks? Dot com. These are the bone ones that I showed you. These are glitter sticks. You will not get these. Uh, long lock sticks are made in short runs of like 10 pairs. That's it. Uh, they're numbered, they're registered, the whole deal. These are really, really expensive. I never would have bought these for myself. Not that they're not beautiful and good quality because clearly they are, but I just wouldn't have put out the money for them. But I was gifted a gift certificate for my birthday. So I bought some. Um, they are beautiful. I dare say they are worth the money, but I don't have that kind of money to spend on stuff, usually, unless it's, you know, like, Smurfy. Uh, but that was also a birthday present. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, what else? Oh, if you are looking for a good hair fork, like a starter hair fork, um, Amazon is a great place for all sorts of hair stuff. This is JWL Honkoa. Just look up JWL Aluminum Hair Fork and these come in all sorts of colors. It's anodized aluminum. It doesn't rust. The color has not been peeling off. I've had this for a little while. Um, is that color coming up? No. That's lotion for my hands. Um, <laughs> this is nice because you can bun your hair when it's wet. And unlike like your wood forks, which you don't really want to put in a wet bun, you can totally put this in a wet bun. It also weighs nothing, and it's curved, like Huma curves hers. So um, it's really comfortable on the head. This little one will hold a Nautilus for me, which is what I bought it for. So uh, I do wish they had some longer ones. But um, they, he does have longer ones, but they're only two-prong, and I prefer a three-prong. It's my... It's just my jam. Uh, I feel like they feel a little more solid in my head. In my head, yes, in my hair. But that's what that is. So, yeah, look, just look up JWL Aluminum Hair Forks on Amazon, and they should pop up. I do believe uh, there's also an Etsy shop, but I can't tell you what it is because I can't remember. Um, is that everything? So that covers Etsy, Amazon. You can also, on Amazon, get the Lindsay Clips. I have showed you guys these before. These are really dusty. These are the double hinged clips. Now these are the little ones, um, but you can get long ones, which work great. But because of those two hinges and the really stubby teeth, I don't even know how many years, 10 years I've had these, maybe. Um, and they're fine. I did finally break one and it wasn't my hair. I stepped on it. So uh, I did break one tooth off these and like I said I stepped on it like I dropped it on the floor went to pick it up and stepped on it I don't know uh, so I'm probably gonna get some more of these but I think I'm gonna get the longer ones which are like two of these and then that would be one clip you can get those on Amazon Lindsay L-I-N-Z-I-C-L-I-P-S Lindsay clips just put that into the search bar they'll pop up um, they are my favorite if you like clippies they don't move I love them and they're really hard to kill uh, on eBay, now the types of things I get on eBay are, these are so dusty, so I apologize, but like these little twiddly decorative sticks, um, and, oh, 
for instance, these types of things with the, with the gator claw and then like all the sparkles, right? These that I decorate hairstyles with, these all come from China, right? Now you can buy these in shops and sometimes they'll charge you an ungodly amount of money. Um, sometimes they'll be fairly cheap, but they're really cheap if you buy them from China. And I'm gonna tell you which seller I use. Uh, I also get all sorts of, uh, I don't think I have any here, but the the forks with all the rhinestones and stuff on the ends, sticks, uh, stuff that is like this, although I haven't seen this particular one, but it'll be like these decorative sticks and something pretty on top, stuff like this. Um, it's Kelly0366 is my favorite seller. Now she does have her own shop and it is Beauty Story Flagship. And I just checked to make sure she's still there. She has been there since like 2003. So she's been there a while. Um, she has 1,017 hair accessories right now. Most of them are under $5. Uh, like, yeah, under five bucks a pop. And uh, free shipping from China. And it does not take forever. I usually have it within a week from Kelly. So yes. Kelly 0366 or search for Beauty Story Flagship. She is my favorite Chinese seller. Um, there are a lot of them, but I love working with her because everything gets here. It looks just like it did in the picture. She always gives dimensions. She always sends it real quick. Never had any problems. You know, nobody's ever ripped off my credit card. She's good. She has a really high seller rating because she is the real deal. So that's my tip to you. But you can find all kinds of stuff on eBay. Uh, but that's where I get most of my really sparkly stuff. All comes from China. It probably has lead in it. I don't care. Um, because I'm cheap and we know this. Other things, uh, most of the other stuff I have, um, I just pick up here and there. Uh, craft stores are a good place. Any place that has silk flowers because they're going to have these things on the ends. Like for example, all of my spiders that I have at Halloween, every Halloween I buy a new spider. Um, my spiders, they just have these little clips on the bottom. Uh, people expect you to put them in wreaths. I put them in my hair. Like I have my purple one. I have my orange sequin one. I have my fuzzy green tarantula. I got this one that's in a web. Every year I buy a new spider because I love to put spiders in my hair at Halloween. Because I like spiders. Um, but there's all sorts of things like they have picks. This is a pick with a glittery pumpkin. It was real long. I cut it off. I shove it into buns. Ta-da decorations. Uh, they've got birds. This poor bird is so dusty. Birds. This is one of my witchy ones. Oh, because they always have lots of cute stuff. And again, just clip it to your hair. There you go. Um, I did buy this giant owl, which I love. And then I just wired his little feet to a pin so that you slide the pin in, let me get it under there, and then you know you have a you have a bird on your head. If you if you want a bird on your head. I I look at things and figure out how to put them in my hair. So I buy a lot of stuff. No, they have like little pretty birds too. Like these little sequin birds. I've got those in purple, green, and baby pink. Um I need some blue ones though. I'm severely lacking in blue hair toys. So yeah, craft stores. Um, on the edges, like the, the ends of rows, they usually have like butterflies and birds and just like little stuff on clips. I just buy those and put them in my hair. Um, and then there's also things like this, like I buy uh, flowers. Like these, I can't even remember what these started life as, quite frankly. Um, but I sewed them to these clips, fabric, and sewed them. So now I have little flowers that I can pin in my hair. I just go around stores and shops and do that sort of thing. Or you can buy silk flowers like this. This is a silk flower, and it's just, it's just hot glued. And now it's a flower. So, yeah. Um, some stuff I make. These I made. This is 
was smushed. But again, these are like fabric flowers that I have just sewn on to knitting needles. But you don't even have to do, I just, these were big. So, you know. And then you shove them in and then you have decorations in your hair if you want decorations in your hair. Ta-da! Yeah. So I make some. I buy some. I find stuff everywhere. Um, I look at stuff and I just try and figure out how to put it in my hair. So that's why I have lots and lots of hair toys because I do not necessarily buy toys for hair. Um, and then of course you have your uh, Flexi 8s. Where do you find Flexi 8s? You probably know somebody who sells Leela Rose. Um, when I got my original Flexies, they were actually from Flexi8.com. Yeah, these are megas. Um, I'll bet it's actually on here. Look. Flexi8.com. I don't even know if it's still open or everything is Leela Rose. But I bought mine direct from the website, um, except for, I think, I don't even think it's in here. I, I got a really pretty one that has uh, Aurora Borealis crystals and a snowflake. I bought that one from Jen because Jen started selling Leela Rose and I saw it and wanted it, so I bought it from her. So anytime I see a new Flexi that I really want, I just order from Jen because she is my Leela Rose chick. So find yourself a Leela Rose chick if you want some Flexi 8s. I guarantee you, I think there are six or seven of them, of you guys that sell it in amongst my lovelies. So you can find someone if you really need to. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that will do for today. We're at 22 minutes talking about hair toys, but at least we got the bun out of the way first. So I'm gonna take some pictures. You know how it goes. Um, and I don't know, I'll probably put some earrings in. I always like to wear earrings. I don't think I have any hanging in here. No. Um, oh, P.S. Uh, Amish hair pins from Amazon. And if you want some of these really nifty ones, this is a uh, Celtic Swan Forge, which I've talked about her a few times. Um, yeah, these will put you out more, but they're worth the money. So, um, any hoodles. She also does sticks too. Um, yeah, I hope that covers everything. I hope that helps you. Um, I will uh, put links down here uh, to uh, Kioma shop and Tatiana's shop and the Christianti, Christiani uh, glass shop. I will also uh, send you straight to the JWL, to the hair fork I bought on Amazon. Um, and then... Uh, but you can, you guys can look up the other stuff. I told you what to look for. So any hoodles. Okay. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. It's red here tomorrow. Flowers, etc. I have to dampen my hair and braid it and do all that because I want pretty hair that I'm leaving down. So, uh, yeah. Woo. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.